Welcome back, Gordon G3PXT, part two of AM Radio Deluxe. Part one, show you how to uh, get it connected to your radio. This one will show you how to operate it with DM780. AM Radio Deluxe, DM780. So, uh, we have a screen, possibly looking like this. Again, it might not, yours might not look identical because they are customised. To customise it, you select options. You get a screen. You set the appearance. You fill in the box, mark call signs. Most important to do that as macros look at this information here. The logbook. Your logbook, as we said, we're looking at my logbook, DM780, and how uh, we can connect by the local host. PTT, depending on how we set up our radio, we're either via the COM port, via Ham Radio Deluxe, or via a sound card. So uh, you just tick the appropriate boxes. Displaying on the radio, you can change the colours again. Uh, again, QSOs, you can change the colours again. You can change it here so that uh, you can adjust the size of the font the size of the colour for incoming signals for both receive and transmit. So fairly simple. Sound card, whatever sound card you're using, in our case it's an audio codec for both uh, the, the uh, input and the output. Yours might be a high definition audio. Uh, waterfall, adjust the display of the waterfall. Do click these guides here for uh, uh, show radio frequency toolbar and the guides and the mouse and tuning indicator most useful you can change the color of the waterfall to any colors that you fancy uh, there I prefer the default you can change the frequency of the uh, because down here we do have waterfall and a grid so you can change the uh, ratio of those two don't need to adjust these others you can also adjust the background information again changing uh, there so that gives you a basic idea of how to set up now most important when you're setting up is stick out a CQ call from one of the predetermined macros there's two of them default and PSK contest they are preset very difficult to change and artify but do you have eight others that you can write yourself so We'll put out on the macro, on the default, and we'll put out a CQ. Uh, find a clear frequency, and we press the button on CQ. Now we need to make sure we're not running any ALC. To do this, we adjust the sound card, and we adjust this sub slider, looking at our ALC meter on our radio, and move it up or down so that we don't run any ALC. Once you've got that set, you're in business. You can drop that down again. And uh, you can then go ahead and, and operate. I'll take this as video one and I'll come back and show some operating uh, sections on the next video. So uh, thank you for watching uh, setting up on uh, HR Digital Master 780.